Hey everyone, welcome to the WebEx Rewind, a quick hits show for WebEx users about five new features released this month, the month of June, that we think you'll love. Up first, if you're joining a meeting from a dimly lit office, cafe, or work from home space, you can now adjust the brightness, contrast, and saturation of your video right within WebEx, so it's just right for you. To do this, click your profile picture, go to settings, then video. Check the video adjustment box, then manual adjustment, and move the sliders to your liking. You can also do this during a meeting by clicking the arrow next to your share video button and then following the same steps. Have you ever wanted to know more about a space or people in a space before you join the conversation? Well, you're in luck because now we're introducing space contact cards for Windows and Mac. To view these, simply hover over a space contact card or space link and view a summary of the space at a glance. New to WebEx meetings, webinars, and events, GridView now supports up to 81 videos. To get this view, click the arrow next to the share button while you're in a meeting. Click layout, click the drop down, and set the number of video screens to fit your preference. New to calling, WebEx will now automatically transcribe your voicemails to English text. Copy and paste any part of the transcription for easy sharing. Lastly, draft notifications. We've all done it started a message to someone or in a space and then might have gotten distracted or got a call or had to hop into a quick meeting, right? But you didn't finish that message. Well, now, if you forgot to finish a message to a colleague or into a space, a visual indicator will now pop up reminding you to finish that message. Thanks for checking out WebEx Rewind. I hope you enjoyed these features and we'll see you again next month.